Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ali. I hope you're all doing well and are staying safe. So today I have a Pandora haul that I want to share with all of you. It's just one charm and I had ordered it a while back when Pandora had their 25% off on select items. But this one took some time to get to me and then I just got busy and I couldn't film this. And so I wanted to share this charm with you guys and it did come in this box. And in here, I have it in a little baggie and it is the Dancing Bell Charm. And this one is so pretty. It's a dangle and it has bell and she's dancing. She is holding her dress in one hand and then she's holding a rose in the other. Her dress does have some yellow CZs on it and then you can see the flounces on it as well. Here is a closer look so you can see that the CZs on her dress, they're kind of shaped like stars and then you have the yellow CZs in there and then you do have some smaller ones that are just oxidized. It is very pretty. Look at that. Look at all those beautiful CZs and then you can see the flounces and the lace on her dress. Her hair is open, half up, half down, and on her head where her bun is, uh, is where you have that um, bale connected to the dangle. The bale is simple, it's plain silver. On one side it says Disney, and on the other it says Pandora S925 ALE. The front of the bale does have a rose on it uh, with a clear CZ in the center and I think that's a lovely touch. I love that. I'm not sure if I would have preferred the CZ to be yellow or uh, the clear one because the yellow would have kind of played into the, the yellow CZs on her dress but at the same time I think when they do the clear CZ, the dress kind of stands out with the yellow CZ. So yeah, I'm not sure what I would have preferred, but I do love, love this. And then you can see the details on her face. You can see her eyebrows, her eyes, nose, and mouth. And um, her eyes do have some oxidation in them. So it's not like a blank expression. Do I think it could have been better with a slight hint of um, black enamel probably I think that would have worked but I think with time that enamel will deepen and we'll be able to see the facial features more and so and that's the bottom of the dress so it is hollow and then um, I do love the the ripples and the swirls that you can see on the dress and so yeah it's a beautiful charm had been on my wish list for a while and when I saw that this was 25% off I I went ahead and got it and I'm so glad that I finally have it and then I'm finally sharing it with you guys so that is the charm and so um, I have been collecting charms for my Beauty and the Beast bracelet for quite a bit and now I have a good collection of charms so I was trying to think and uh, I kind of create my design now. It has a lot of dangles in it and that has, you know, including this one, there's quite a few dangles on there. And so I have to really think about what I want to do with it. And there's multiple colors too. Let me show you the, the charms I do have for this design. So these are the charms that I have. Um, I have a safety chain and I have some of these charms um, that I've collected over the years. These are, I think this one is retired. This one is not specifically a Beauty and the Beast charm. I just love the roses on it and I think it will go with the theme. Um, these are these are older retired charms um, this one is from the same collection that this bell dangle is from as well as this one over here as well as these three so I think these are all the charms that were released the second time around I'll have to double check the first time around I wasn't really collecting Pandora so I don't have the older charms, I just have these two, uh, and I got these off of um, Rulala, I believe, or I got this off of Rulala, and this one I might have gotten when it went 50% off um, when it was retired from Pandora. And so I have these, these clips, uh, the rose clips, oldies, retired for a long time. These are not 
Beauty and the Beast or Disney, but they match perfectly with the old bangle clasp that they did for Beauty and the Beast, which is exactly this clasp. And I really love this, and so I thought I would put these there. These are the Belle Disney Muranos. These are the Glow in the Dark Muranos. And then I bought these recently. These are the yellow uh, rose and bloom charms. And they match so perfectly with these um, Muranos and then the enamel on these charms. And so you can see that I have some red, some yellow, and there's like hints of purple and pink and Mrs. Potts, which is not a whole lot. So, but I do have some colors going on. And so these are the charms I have. And the bracelet I had gotten a few promos ago, sometime late last year. I don't remember exactly when. I think when they had the free bracelet promo, I had picked up this particular bracelet. This is the heart clasp bracelet and this is the shine version where the clasp is uh, plated i think i don't remember if this is 14 karat gold plated or 18 karat gold plated but on one side you do have the o symbol and then the other side it just says pandora and so i do have this and this is what i intended to use for this and i thought I picked this up because of the heart clasp and then I thought that the gold clasp would kind of match the yellow elements and actually it does but now for spring Pandora came out with the rose clasp bracelet and now I'm thinking I want that for this particular design. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think because that rose is just so perfect for bell and for beauty and the beast so i'm really thinking about that but then i'll have to think of what to do with this one and so yeah it's a dilemma let me know what you guys think and so yeah these are my charms and the bracelet so let me go ahead and kind of work out the design i want to do and then we'll look at it and yeah this is a work in progress so it's going to be changing but let's see what we have so far Okay, so this is what I'm thinking so far. And I've tried to kind of distribute the dangles on here. And this is what I've come up with. Um, let me see if I can bring it closer before I put it on the bracelet itself. And so you can see that I've tried to mix up the colors. I've tried to space out the yellows and dispersed it with some red and some silvers and kind of try to distribute the dangles and um, my camera's having trouble focusing but here you go and I think that does look good I once I put it on the bracelet I'll have to see if this centerpiece kind of fits or if I have to move these two charms on to the other side of the clips um, that will I'll only get to know once I put them on the bracelet so that could change a bit but I think this works um, and I think I'll, I'll try and put it on the bracelet and see how that looks I don't know why my camera is having so much trouble focusing here you go so yeah I'm, and I do I don't know these two dangles are slightly longer and this is kind of shorter but I don't want to put because this has bell and the beast on it and this has bell and so I don't want to put them next to each other and that's why I had the the enchanted rose dangle in the center and I think that's okay because you know once it's around the wrist I won't really notice that you know there's that length difference in the dangles and so yeah let me try and put this on the bracelet and see what it looks like so let's put the safety chain on first and i'm sure all of you know this but the safety chain on one end has this swivelly bit and that goes on the inside of the bracelet so you put this end in first and so let's let me do that and it's hard to do it through the camera lens but it is a threaded safety chain so that is good and then let me quickly put these charms on the way I had them on the rod. So these non-threaded charms go in so easily. 
but once you get to the threaded bit, that's when it gets a little tricky. So I'll have a clip. I'll put the clip in later so that if I need to change. Now this is a threaded charm, this dangle. So you do have to kind of work it. And this older charm that's threaded too. So there. And then the Muranos, again, threaded. I love these Disney Muranos. I only have Belle and Jasmine because these are my favorite princesses. And I really wish now that I had collected all of them, at least one each of the other princesses because they're just so beautiful, the colors and especially the glow in the dark bit. But you know, when you're collecting so much, you have to like pick and choose and decide what you're getting versus what you're okay, you know, letting go of because honestly, we can't get everything. But you know, FOMO is real. And sometimes when you, you know, think about things that are retired and you can't really get them anymore, you, you really do regret some things. And so, yeah, these Moranos are some of my regrets. Oops. So there's that. Let me put the clips on. They go. So here is everything on a bracelet. And yes, it did fit in the center, my centerpiece. And I still have a tiny bit of movement in there. So they're not too tight in there, which is good because if it were, I would have to move something. And I'm glad I don't have to now. Um, you can see I still have space on the ends. And I'm hoping, I'm still hoping that Pandora does more um, charms for Beauty and the Beast and does other characters like Lumineer and um you know there's so many i would love a wardrobe i would love the beast's castle and there's just so much they can do i would love love gaston and <laughs> and so yeah there's so much they can still do and so yeah these are my charms and oh a bell disney baby i would love a bell disney baby although i'll have to see where i would put it maybe in an o pendant um on an o pendant uh while you know i wear this i could put a uh, bell on the uh the bell baby on the o pendant and wear it that way but that is my design let me show you all the charms in detail i have to kind of hold this because i haven't put the safety chain on there and this is not threaded this is uh you do have lumineer over here and then you have bell and mrs potts and um chip on this end on this side and then i have the yellow um rose charm and there is this dangle i'm i don't remember names right now if you want exact names of anything just let me know down in the comments and i'll look it up and let you know but this pendant came out when the they did the second release uh the second one where this dangle was released this one this one when these were released that is when this one came out too and it's really pretty i love how delicate that is then i have the rose clip I have the dancing bell. This one, I think it's called Bell's Rose. Um, it's a button style charm on the sides, on the edges. You do have rose cutouts and then you have uh, red CZ. And if you look closely, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but if you look inside the CZ, you can see a cutout of a rose inside. It's kind of hard to see, but it's a beautiful, beautiful charm. Then you have a Bells Murano, you have the Enchanted Rose Dangle, another one of the Bells Muranos, and then you have this one. Again, I don't remember the name of this. This is long retired. As I said, I was able to pick this up uh, off of Rue La La a couple of years ago, I wanna say. It is not recent. And it has these red enamel roses on either side. And it does say bell here. And yeah, on both sides between the roses, it says bell. And then you have bell and the beast dancing. I love, love this charm so much. It's so beautiful. And then the background disc has some yellow enamel and you have the ballroom 
on it and then the bail on this is so beautiful it has these roses on it it's all silver stunning stunning bail on this one it's probably my favorite charm from this newer collection although i really love this one too the murano glass uh, it has that stained glass effect love that one but um yeah that's beast and bell dancing i have another uh, rose clip then i have mrs potts and chip another one of the yellow enamel roses and then this is i am forgetting the name of this one too again it came out a few years ago i think valentine's day release and initially i think this was called the tattoo rose a rose tattoo which i didn't get the name why it was called that but i think they changed it later and i don't know what they renamed it as but again it's a heart it has some roses on it some clear cz's and then the edges have some heart cutouts and some roses engraved and then the safety chain i have on here is this one it has hearts on it it's one of the older ones that pandora still has in their collection and i think it works really well so this is my design so far if you have any recommendations of what i could add to this bracelet i would prefer that those um, charms are still available because it is so hard to find charms uh, pre-loved especially since Pandora Disney charms are so heavily copied and there's so many fakes out there it just gets really hard and I've been burned once and I have not tried and bought anything else um, after that because it was just not a good experience so that's why I would you know I have bought after that I've bought from other collectors that I know of but strangers I have stayed away from and so yeah this is what I have so far I do like how this one turned out I do wish I had some uh, more pops of red on here I have these um spacers with the red cz's in them that I think would be really nice on this to add just that pop of red but I'm using those on I think it's on my Star Wars bracelet and I don't want to take them off so oh, you know I wish Pandora would do more spacers I know I sound like a broken record because I've asked for that so many times but we really really do need more spacers so yeah this is my bracelet so far I like how this one turned out I think I was able to space out the the dangles which was what was you know I was kind of apprehensive about that so yeah let me know what you guys think let me know if you have any recommendations for me or if you think you know i need to change this design a bit i would love to know what you think i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did do give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel already i would love it if you would consider subscribing and i'll see you in my next one stay safe guys bye